Hey guys, what is going on? So we are in a pickle. Not a fun one either. But um, we are here. Um, me and Lance decided to take a walk because I wanted to get out of the house. And yeah, I told the girls to come with us to take a walk. And um, we ended up in the back of the house, which is right here. And we were just sitting down in the stairs that we have in the back. And Lance, he just hears like kind of a, a drip and some water running from underneath the house. And I just thought it was because of the AC. We've had it super cold and, you know, it was like, what's well, just, you know, the water, the excess water that's stripping. And he's like, well, let me just check. I want to look at it. I want to see what it is. So he takes out his drill or whatever that's called, takes out the bolts and everything to be able to move the panel that's right there by the house to look under it and sure enough there's like a constant dripping of water and it's flooded apparently it looks like one of the hoses for the washer machine or you know where the water runs through it it's just busted and so our water bills haven't been extremely high or anything which was super weird it it's super weird so we do not know how long this issue has been going on and last remove like um, just like the side of the wall where the washer is at it has a bunch of gunk like the water has been sitting on the wall there and that wall is shared with our restroom and so we even looked at the floor from our restroom and it seems like it's actually sinking in yeah we have to turn off the water because uh, if we turn it on it's just gonna keep dripping and dripping and this is just gonna keep getting worse yeah i made myself a root beer float because this requires a moment of happiness does that make sense yeah yeah right tomorrow though it should be exciting but besides the water being shut off whatever needs to happen with that will happen we just called the person that we rent from didn't you know to just come out here and check it out but he hasn't responded and then we're hoping that maybe he comes and checks it out and see what needs to be done um tomorrow we find out what we're having boy or girl what do you guys think it will be it's gonna be super exciting i can't wait to find out i'm very very nervous um you know, with Sophia, I really wanted her to be a boy. And they told me she was a girl. I almost cried. I kept asking them, Are you sure that it's a boy? Are you sure that it's a girl? Well, you know, like, oh yeah, it's a girl. So we'll see what my experience is tomorrow. What are you doing? Your time is almost up with my phone. Water's turned off because there is a leak. What? I mean, you can use that, but can't flush it. I mean, you probably wish it in poo to hold it in your poo until the morning. <laughs> There's the washer. I mean, it's really bad, guys. All that gunk. Super Mario. Time to play. Mario. Roblox. The real Roblox. Hey everyone. So I'm going to my appointment today to find out what I'm having. Lance is in the room getting ready. He's been a little quiet this morning. Not sure what's going on in his head. We're just trying to be quiet out here. These little kids. See y'all on the other side. Off to school. Oh, I thought y'all were exaggerating. I can't do it. Well, baby, you're gonna have to scoot in so they can get out. Cause yeah. this thing is. Yeah. Hi. Hi. Yeah. 
Hi. Oh, We're yeah, going to school a... first day. Yeah, right. There they go. <laughs> one, <laughs> one bird at a time. We're going to kick them out, y'all. Can't wait. Go on. and stay out. So, I am pretty excited about today. This is it's pretty exciting, you know. I really, I know we've been praying for a boy and believing it's a boy. I, I pretty much believe it's a boy. <laughs> it's gonna be a boy. We'll find out here in a few minutes. But regardless, I really just want like a healthy baby, you know. I think that's more than anything the most important thing man for our children to to be healthy and to be whole and for them to just be good and here she is look man it smelled like my mom had just made that fajita meat and i was looking for it and then i hit bed, I was like what are you looking for i'm like the fajita meat he's like oh yeah i finished it right now just right now and i'm like Oh, I know I smelt it. I really wanted some. What's the you address? have your mask? Yeah. Hey, hey guys. I'm here at my appointment waiting. Um, we are now required to wear a mask. Good thing I have one already, but before it, it wasn't like a requirement. Um, we still have to sign in through the app and then they'll call us when they're ready for us. So, yeah. <laughs> So apparently Lance can't go in there. I guess they still have that enforcement. I'm just hungry. Yeah, I want steak. I want a burrito. I, I did get here late. <laughs> and then I didn't know how to check in because they didn't have the thing on the thing. Oh, on the, the thing on the thing. I figured it out and I just called them just to let them know, hey, I'm here. It's a boy. He says it's a boy, guys. My boots for the boy. I'm nervous. All right, guys, I found out what I'm having and I'm about to go and tell Lance. It was a long appointment. Hi, babe. Hey, that was a long appointment, huh? Uh, yeah. Can they give me a USB of everything? Like, uh, uh, let me see it. I'll look it up right now. So, here. What is it? <laughs> it's a zebra. Uh -huh. Let me see this thing. So much. You you haven't even looked at the sauna picture. It tells you what we're having. You don't know? But it's a boy. I already know I don't. <laughs> You're not even surprised. I, I started see. crying so bad I could stop it. And she was like, "Whoa, there is no doubt that you're having a boy. Look at that." Okay, she took several pictures, but I don't know how many she actually put in there. But you could see, baby, he was a, he's a boy. Like, oh my god, can you believe that? It's a boy. <laughs> it's oh, there's a boy. another boy. Yeah. Oh, that's his leg, probably. And his yeah, his leg. leg, and that's his middle part. You know, yeah. that's why it's like, whoa. He's big. He looks small. <laughs> I was like, oh, yeah, definitely a boy. I'm like, that's crazy. <laughs> All right, guys, so I'm here at my mom's. I'm getting the girls, and I'm just going to go in there and tell the girls just to come to the van and stay in here and wait for me. I don't want to tell them just yet because I want to record their expression. But I do want to tell my mom. I don't think I've said the full story of how like, you know, how we kind of believe that he'd be a boy. Many confirmations that we got. So my mom was actually involved in one of those confirmations. And so she was right. And so I just want to tell her, you know, hey, it's a boy. This cat always sitting out here, my brother's cat. He thinks I'm a glitter man, which he's not wrong. And this is my mom's annoying dog, Kimmy. Okay, me dijeron y va a ser niño. Va a ser niño? Yeah. Yeah. Baby. Yeah. Cuando me dijeron empecé a chillar. Porque sí, porque estaba sorprendida, aunque tuve ese sueño. Pues todavía dije, pues, ya sé que queremos niño, porque ya tenemos oh, tres chamacas, ¿sí, no? Know? Y dije, no, a lo mejor, porque lo quiero tanto, no va a ser niño. Ya ves cuando dicen cuando quieres oh, algo que lo no es. Yeah. Pero luego cuando tú sabías que la confirmación del nombre, y yo ya lo había soñado, que así se iba a llamar. Y dije, le dije a Leanson, bueno, no puede ser coincidencia que nada más yo soñé que se iba a llamar, y you no know, eh, um, Elías. Y, le hago, y luego mm. mi mamá dice que así se va a llamar. Tiene que ser niño. Y ya cuando le tomaron foto, uh, dijeron, oh, sí, es un niño. No hay duda que va a ser un niño. So. 
Pero yeah. ¿no? ah, felicidades, pues. Felicidades, Ajá. Elías. ¿Elías? Porque yo te dije que, así, que ibas a ser Elías y, y sí, ya eres Elías. Y vas a nacer bien, bien, bien. Y no vas a tener problemas, ni tú ni tu mamá. All right, guys. It's a boy. Really? Yeah, it's a boy. <laughs> you sure? reactions are not great. Yeah, it's a boy for sure. They checked. <laughs> so, not a girl. I started crying when I found out. We got pics to prove it. Babe, hey, that's his boy stuff. I'll be looking. <laughs> yeah, he's a baby. Don't matter. Not that one. <laughs> And his nose and his lips and his head so what's going on um my hair is crazy i just took out my bun because i had it up for a while i've got crazy hair if you have not noticed that i'm pretty excited just to know that we are having a boy so i'm super excited pictures that they gave us it's like so evident definitely a boy it's very different the sano pictures here not gonna show that even though he's a baby and it's a sano it's not really anything but still, it's my baby boy. I don't want you to see it. Honestly, the reaction that the girls had wasn't one that we expected. I thought they were going to be way more excited than that. So before I found out we were pregnant, I had a dream. It was actually a YouTuber in my dream um, that I hadn't frequently been watching in a while. Yeah, I saw her in my dream, in my closet, in my room. And I opened my closet door and she was sitting down in the closet with a big belly and I was just asking her like what are you doing here what are you doing in my house she's like I'm just here to tell you that this is your baby and he's getting heavy and he was, she was just describing how she was feeling and then I'm like that's not my baby it's in your belly and then she was saying no this is your baby and I looked at her kind of confused thinking um why would my baby be in your belly she's like I don't know if you will be pregnant soon like this she was an example of what i would look like and she told me it would be a boy she first said um that his name should be iliad and um i told her i don't like that name i don't i don't really like the name iliad i don't have never even really heard it and no i don't want to call my son iliad and so then she said well you don't have to call him Eliad. you can name him um something else but it has to be close to elijah i'm like well Eliad is not any close to elijah i'm like i'd rather keep elijah so um that was that dream and uh, i woke up i told my husband about it and one thing that he actually brought up was like well what's her name you know and what does her name mean and i never really thought about it as far as the reason why she was carrying my baby you know searched up her name and her name means tree of life and um means fruitful the meaning of her name kind of was telling me and this is my understanding of it that i will be fruitful and this is how my fruit will bear you know and it's life and it was kind of crazy that lance told me to google her name and I was like, wow, you know, I would have never thought, you know, and when I looked up Elijah, it has a similar meaning to, but obviously he's in the Bible and the purposes that he did and fulfilled and he was uh, very strongly used by God and, um, you know, but he also has a meaning to his name and I was like, that is crazy that they both kind of resemble the same meaning, you know, that was the first dream and the weirdest thing that happened before I even found out I was pregnant. And so yeah, I just want to share that with you guys. After that, when I started to grow and my belly really started to begin to show, my mom, I went over to her house one day and um, she just happened to grab my belly and I was about to leave, you know, um, we were all there hanging out and she just grabs my belly and tells me, you know, um, well, tells the baby, uh, your name will be Elijah. But she said it in Spanish saying, Tu nombre va a ser Elias. And I'm like, what in the world? And I started to freak out because that just doesn't happen. It's not just something that 
happens at all you know and so it was very random and so i told her about my dream and i told her how it just stuck with me and lance after i had that dream that we were just calling the baby we were actually calling him jaja you know for short and we didn't know if it was a boy we didn't know it was a girl but we were just calling jaja you know and we we're just calling him that and we just knew that his name would be Elijah and obviously Lance said that he wanted him to keep his middle name so it would be Elijah Blake and so when my mom said that like, okay this this is kind of a confirmation that I am gonna have a boy you know and it's something I really really want people have mentioned a lot you know that if you just say something for so many times or you really want something it doesn't tend to happen and i was just afraid of that even though i have had confirmation of a dream and then my mom even after that i've been having off and on dreams that it's a boy um, i had a very particular dream that really um, spoke to me in a spiritual sense uh, about just preparing um, the baby in God's way. It was kind of a weird dream and I put it in perspective that um, that God works even through your kids. I don't even remember all the details to it. I just know that um, the growth, the spiritual growth that needed to be involved with the baby became something that was um, something we needed to pay attention to and that we needed an awakening for. Um, so even when I woke up and had that dream, I was just like, wow, this baby will do a lot of things. You know, this baby is, pre is uh, being prepared for a lot more than we can imagine. You know, just the responsibility of parenting and growing a child for them to understand and come to understanding of who God is, is very important. Um, not just because we want them to be saved and, you know, to experience God and have a relationship with them, but honestly, because of all the things that um, God has aligned for them, for their future, for what they're going to do and how they're going to help and how they're going to evolve all the gifts that God has given them, you know? And it was more evident when I dreamt that. And in my dream, it was Elijah. It was a boy and, you know, it was like very specific. Not long ago, I just thought, you know, because Lance was talking about like, if it's a girl, you know, I'm still going to love her and oh, she's still gonna be loved and and it doesn't really matter you know after the miscarriage and everything that happened um we just want a healthy baby and i understood that you know and i just started thinking of the possibility of what if it is a girl and it just never sat right with me like i just felt uncomfortable thinking that it would be a girl and then it's not because i didn't want it to be a girl it's just that oh i just felt like no this isn't right it just doesn't really doesn't line up <laughs> and then whenever I would think that no it is a boy like everything and every confirmation that we've had I know it's a boy like and every time I would think about it I would be like yeah and I would have that peace knowing that it is and I just felt that I wasn't wrong <laughs> you know finally be here and find out is great the only one that needs to find out is Esther um, you know she's not with us so she'll be here with us in a few days and i'll finally be able to tell her i don't know what her reaction is i feel like it might be sort of the same of you know uh both michaela and sophia at first she really wanted a girl and she just came around to the fact that no i want to i want a baby brother and um i don't know it's just like it makes me feel like um it might be sort of the relationship that me and my brother have or have had growing up me and my brother were really close in age or we are close in age and we shared a lot almost everything as far as like things that would happen in our lives we were there for each other to like um, talk to one another and kind of share our experiences and kind of um, encourage each other i feel like i'm the only one out of my other two sisters that can actually talk to him and um for him to kind of come to an understanding bring attention to matters that might be difficult to talk about um, I feel like I'm probably the only one that can address it, address them with him. Um, and even him with me or, you know, he's able to just talk to me and not feel uncomfortable in any way. We're very open with each other. I feel like I think Esther and the baby will have that relationship, even though they're not as close in age as me and my brother. But, um, you know, they're the, the smallest ones. I don't know we'll see you know now i can finally go shopping for baby boy clothes and i'm 
excited and happy. I was at the store the other day and looking at these cute outfits for boys and I just thought, wow, like, I want to get these. But I wasn't sure if... We were just so excited we announced it in our personal social media account. So if you um, either have me or Lance, you already know that we've already announced it, but it was nice just to be able to capture these moments. And everyone congratulating us. Thank you so much. Uh, we feel the love for sure and um, we are very happy. Some people have said that boys are a handful and um, I think that, you know, I have the best partner to be able to raise a boy with and that's actually one thing i did tell lance that i'm thankful that you know although i've wanted a boy before i'm glad that it's happening with him and you know he gets to be the father to my little boy and we can raise him together and show him morals and you know educate him someone that who will love God and know about God and follow in his ways. The comments that, you know, boys are a handful or, you know, it's different to raise a boy. I don't know, this will be my first one, but you know, but I'm thankful again that I'm doing this with Lance. And he is the best example um, that my child can have. And so, yeah, um, I'm very happy, excited. More to come guys, thank you for staying tuned and all the new subscribers thank you for joining into this journey but thank you for subscribing thank you for joining us thank you for all the love and support um so if you've not subscribed again just click that subscribe button hit that notification bell to get alerted with all of our new videos that are coming in and um yeah share follow us on all the other social media links that are down below so excited for what's to come and everything else ahead of us thank you guys god bless